all the youth them coming up remember you don't have to do this road thing yeah you can get a job if you haven't got a criminal record and you're getting nicked and you're under 16 stop it now you can get a job you don't have to live that life you're just gonna wreck yourself for getting a job when later on you're gonna want one because your kids are gonna need things you know what I'm saying to you like it's not all about the road it's not it's not what it makes out to be you know what I'm saying to you um yeah I'm not gonna say stay in school because sometimes school is corrupted but get money get legal money put yourself in a position to get legal money do you understand what I'm saying to you? Don't give yourself a criminal record and wreck your chances of employment. Do you understand? You could be employed in something that you love. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? It's, it's, it's that simple. Like, you don't have to be rolled. You don't have to put on a facade. Don't be scared. Do you understand? Sometimes you're scared and sometimes you put on a bad boy image because you're scared. Do you get me? Like, fuck all of that shit. Think about your family. Get money. Fly the country. Go everywhere. Do you understand? That's what life's about. Have kids, procreate. Do you understand? That's what life's about. Change and development and progress. Yeah? That's what I'm giving to the youth then. That. That's what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah? And all my friends that keep asking me and telling me that they've seen my video, see my video, uh, they like it. It's a bad video, the, hot, the, 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 the bars are hard, rare, 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 and not sharing my shit. Start sharing my shit, innit? Like, you know me, innit? I got 4,000 friends, 5,000 friends on Facebook. 3,000 of them are my friends that know me. And 3,000 of you ain't sharing my shit. Share the shit, innit? Share your people's shit. Like, don't leave it to the white people to catch on to. And then you're gonna jump on it then. No. Share now. Like, don't tell me you love me after I'm dead. Like, love me now, innit? The Artist TV in association with Block 5 Entertainment. We're back out here with my man Maddox, PDC, one of the original spitters for the road game. What's good, big man? I'm here, man. I'm here. Yeah? Yeah, what's so what going we're on? saying, Astro, Beast Mode, Scars, tells us man's back. Yeah, I'm trying to do a thing still. Obviously, man enjoys it, you know what I mean? I've still got bars, so if it's in me, I might as well just let something out. You know what I mean? I wasn't supposed to do a mixtape. But I just ended up doing beer tunes in the studio. So for months, I put our last one together. You get me? Yeah, yeah. We like the sound of that. But let's be real now. You've been in this game from the beginning, big man. Yeah. There's been a lot of times you popped up. Next thing you're gone again. Yeah. We want to know about the work rate. Why is Maddox's work rate not being good enough? Boy, do you know what? As I put out something, if it's not firing like it's supposed to, then, then that's just how it goes. You get me? Like. Obviously, man's done a lot of bars, done a lot of tunes, like four mixtapes and that, but if the people ain't feeling it like that, they're not feeling it. You get me? And that's yeah, just but it. is your promotion being enough to make no, them feel it? My work rate, as far as promoting myself, nah. I kind of like used to do tunes, couple videos, and then leave it. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing no, I didn't have no work rate. I still ain't got it now, car. Man's got kids in them things, I gotta put my energies into other things. You know what I mean? Let's get into that beast mode. You released that with Quinny and Ty Nizzy. But up there, I see you got one that you ain't got a video for. You got S Wavy and, and M Dog on that. Yeah. What's going on with that? That's the one we want the video for to let some of them young youths know that Maddox is back. Yeah. Obviously, that was the first. That's the first track we did. Like the first original Beast Mode was with S Wavy and M Dog. You get me? But um, something to do with M Dog's um, music people are around him. Like, I don't know, I think he weren't allowed to do certain things at the time. You get me? So, obviously, and I had to, I had a schedule to run. You get me? I had 
like videos lined up and I couldn't like to stop them because people had been paid and whatnot. So I had to continue with the video and quickly reshuffle the tune, find some other people. I've all got a remix as well that no one ain't heard yet. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to do a video for that as well. But um, yeah, we're still gonna do a video for 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 that one. Yeah. So when we gonna see that video? Because obviously that will get you a lot more border wisens, isn't it? Yeah, I hear that still. But obviously, when everyone's ready to do their thing, we'll, we'll do this. You get me? Like yeah. Obviously, my life ain't simple as well. I got other things going on. It's not just music. The film is life. Okay. You know? Let's get back onto the promotion. Obviously, you got them free tracks up there, like we said. You got that studio session where you hurt it up. Yeah. But we're wondering why none of that stuff ain't up on Spliff so more people know you're back. Because I ain't put it on there. Why? Because I couldn't be bothered. Do you know what? I asked a couple men if they could help me do it. You know? But um, I don't know. They did, but I never got around to... I had other things doing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm doing this for the love. I'm not even trying to bust. I'm just trying to do this for the love. So me putting extra work and effort into going on to all kinds of things like it's, it's, it's long for me right now I hear you, know you I mean? on that but even for the love more people want to know you're back in it so you have to embolden it out there more yeah of course and I will do in due time I've been doing that it's been a, it's an ongoing project do you understand got other things in the pipeline got bare videos to do bare features you understand bare new people I want to bring up I want to show to the limelight you get me like sleeping giants VA and, 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 um, and M's they're coming up you know, other little youths coming up. You know, I'm trying to concentrate on more of that side of things than putting all time and money effort into myself. You get me, guys? It's not that time for me. I'm just doing this for the love, quickly. Psh, go hard with the death wish and come out the thing. Getting to some of the things people want to know about you through the career. Do you think that PDC Shine started a bit too early? Um, Due to the fact, should I say, that obviously YouTube come a lot later. And a lot of people are getting a lot more following now due to the fact that they're all on YouTube. Mm. Well, I think PDC was the first to bring this road thing up for everyone to see. You get me? And obviously, the PDC thing initially was a road thing. And man done a lot of things on the road. You understand? Even before in history, like man's been doing things on the road. So obviously, like it got a bit too much for corporate organizations such as YouTube and Channel U and wherever, wherever there was an outlet for us, it was hard for them to, to touch us because we'd done too much basically on the roads. So when we're ready to make the transition, it was hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, so when you look up now and you see a rapper might have 40, 50,000 followers and you think to yourself, hold on, this guy can't rap like me. Mm. What goes through your head knowing that you got the rap, you had the beginning, and you ain't getting the following that you should be getting because like I say, PDC came a bit too early. Well, I don't mind. People like what they like, innit? I reckon my time was probably school days. Do you understand? Because that's when nobody sounded like me. Do you understand? Everyone's telling me to, but well, obviously my mum won't let me do none of that shit. So, you know, but yeah, that's what the youth them like now. You understand? Whatever it is that's current, they jump on it, it gets viral, that's what they like. Like, you can't wrong them for liking that. And it's not even the hood, it's not even your people that's liking it. Like, for a man to bust, white people have to like his shit. Do you understand? They're the majority. They're the ones that's giving you all the hits. The hood ain't even buying your CD. They won't even share your shit when you share it. <laughs> you understand? So, yeah, that's how it goes. So do you yourself have any regrets from your PDC career? I have no regrets. I have no regrets whatsoever. Everybody in PDC that was there in the beginning that may not be there now, I had love for them then, I still got love for them now. You get me? Um, people grow and they turn and change to different people that have different ideals. Everything changes, do you understand? Some people live with their baby mothers and end up with their girl. Some people change, some people carry on, some people do different things. So obviously, when they was all young, everybody grew and they separated into who they are. So that's just how it is. I ain't got no, I got nothing against no one, it's just how it goes. Yeah, but do you feel there was anything you could have done and you never did? If you would have been given a bit more push? What, about music? About music, yeah. As regards, like I say, like, years have gone by. Like, obviously, 
in the beginning, I must have been gassing myself because I thought I could do two video, bust two mixtape, and that should be enough for me for them to hear me and bust because I think I'm good enough. But obviously, I'm not. When I listen to myself honestly now, as I get older, I can hear that um, I wasn't as good. Like my first mixtape, I reckon was pants. The concepts were good and all of that, but lyrically, deliverance and all of that, structurally, was pants. You understand? Like it's only now that I'm making sure everything's on point, and it's only now that I don't even give a fuck. You get me? They can have rap. You get me? I'm trying to live life now. Does Maddox listen to what the real PDC fans are saying? Yeah. Of yes. Course. Yeah, because the real PDC fans are saying that they want PDC back. Yeah. So what do you say to that? PDC's never been anywhere. PDC's still here. Do you understand? Obviously what the majority likes is what the majority likes. Sometimes the majority overshadows the real. But that doesn't mean the real's not there. You have to want it. Do you understand? Like PDC's still here. We're still keeping it real. We're still promoting love. We're still promoting money over banging. Do you understand? We're still promoting jobs instead of country do you understand we're still promoting like youth development relocate every human being's purpose is to grow to procreate and to relocate that's what develops you as a human being and if you ain't doing that then you're not developing you know what i'm saying to you and that's all we care about you get me music is a love that we have that we used to express this but that's all we care about you get me at the same time we're not taking no shit from anybody yeah, I hear that. You came right there. But what I want to say over that is how about promoting some CDs over silence? Over silence? Because that's what we're getting from PDC. A whole silence. load of silence. We want to hear some music, some fresh music. They're coming, man. They're coming. But that's what I've been hearing. Ribs is telling me they're coming. Temp Man's telling me they're coming. Everyone's saying they're coming, big man. How Boy, old have we got to be before they come? I hear what you're saying still. But like I said, life is involved in enough of the brother's life. You get me? Like, there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of things going on in my life and I managed to bang out a mixtape and four videos so far. Do you understand? Because of my love for it. I ain't really got the time to do it. You get me? I should have been flying out on holidays instead of paying for all those videos. Do you understand? But because I got a love for it, you know? But I put my shit out there. Everyone that's putting out their shit is coming out. When it drops, it drops. You get me? Okay, so we want to ask you now. Are we ever gonna see the whole of PDC on one track that's what we want the fans that have been listening to you from the beginning they want one track with the whole of PDC and see how the roads take that and you know the funniest thing on every mix I've got five mixtapes now no four mixtapes now yeah and on every CD I've done a track with every man on it one of the first ones was London's Burning every man's on that on this mixtape that I got now, it's um on top. The last tune on a CD, like it's on my Instagram, SoundCloud. You see it. So you why aren't me? you giving us a video on that? Because that's what we want—a visual. Do you know what it is? I tried to do it so much times. Each video was supposed to be on top. Do you understand? But because there's so much man, it's getting everybody around at the same time. And then I decided, raw, well, let me get everybody wherever they are. Cause that'll be easier they don't have to meet nowhere they don't have to change their plans i just get everybody bit by bit and then people started saying that it couldn't i couldn't meet um he was busy they was doing something else what about like it all just got long it just ended up with a bag of footage that i couldn't use so yeah i got like three four more videos to come so what's the chance of us getting that on top video uh high chance high chance high chance i just have to do a campaign for a week obviously man's got work on that as well but I just have to like, campaign for about a week and link up all the men they met and spit their bars before someone ends up in jail. What's up? Is Devious a better spitter than Maddox? <laughs> uh, I would say yeah. Yeah, I would say yeah. That's my brother. I'll give him his props, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that's the reason why Devious got more push than Maddox? No, he pushed himself. He's his skills were so good that everybody liked him then so everybody noticed that he's getting a bag of hits a bag of plays as soon as I heard him the first time I, I felt it as well like raw everybody says the same thing you know what I mean he's hard it's just, just got it you either you got it or you haven't 
Yeah, yeah. so would you say he was the best spitter in PDC then? Uh, no. Most likely to blow, but not the best. I think the reason why I love PDC is that everybody's got their own part to play, their own position. Do you understand? Like, obviously, DV, his age group, that's what it is. Jaja, his age group, that's what it is. My age group, this is what it is. You get me? Naja, this is what it is. Ribs, that's what he does. You understand? So, no, I won't say anybody's the best. I would just say PDC's the best. You get me? Okay, so let us know why has we never seen a visual with Maddox and Devious? Why have right. we never seen that? Because it's, I can't find the guy. Everybody tell you about DV, it's hard to find. Like, you've you had can't... about 15 years to find <laughs> him, big man. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you've had about 15 years, but you know, so obviously, like, if I phone DV and say, Come studio, DV will say, Yeah, I'm coming. And let's bike us with him to bring him. DV will say, Yeah, I'm coming, and then not turn up, it'll be very, very late. Like, time is money, studio's books, next projects. Do you understand? You know? Okay. He jumped on my first mixtape still. Yeah, you know, but we never got the visual for that. No, no visuals. Because no you know, visuals the visuals picks. is what <laughs> lets the people know Maddox is about. Yeah, for real. Well, the visuals are coming. I've done a few collabs. I've done it. It's coming still. I've got some yeah. more fire coming, like, you know what I mean? All right, then, well, let's get on to something else, big man. Yeah. This is what I'm remembering when I started listening to PDC. I'm remembering Maddox. I'm remembering Temp Man. I'm remembering Inches. I'm remembering Birdie. I'm remembering Jar Jar, Nar Jar, Devious, and Squinny, and so on. Yeah. Why did all of you sit back and continuously let Devious shine because, while you lot did do nothing? Because, do you know what? DV didn't have to do much because he's very, very good to, to the public. Like, when I say the public, I'm not talking about the hood, the man there, I'm talking about the white people. They love it, so that's why he was he was he was getting all that shine. Do you understand? He was able to. Yeah, I fully know? hear that. And I'm the rest saying, of us, all the rest you of us should have allowed yourselves to get some of that shine as well. What? You off should his have back. just sat now off for the fact that you could all spit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was some class spitters yeah, in there remember, and you just sat back. Remember D V done um what did he do? He done a mixtape with Quinny <coughs> and a few PDC mixtape. And he never done nothing else for like five, six years. And then he done one in a million. Do you understand? And then the following year, I think a couple of years after that, he done one in a billion. Do you understand? So he weren't really putting in like his own projects like that. Like everyone was asking him, like, where's DV? Where are you coming out mixtape? Where are you coming out? It was the same thing. And then he dropped. Do you understand? And people was asking me the same thing. And then I dropped. That's why I came back. Because people yeah, kept on asking. Yeah, but due to the me. fact that people were starting to hear DV and love what he was about, Shouldn't that made the rest of you say, you know what, we want to show them what we're about? But they did. We did. People was doing their thing. But the again, no one can't see them visuals, big man. They're there. you got to search for them. You thought I had two videos. But I told you I had four. You yeah, understand? yeah, but just remember, I knew about them both, but I thought there's a different period. Okay, okay. So don't do me like that. No, I say that, I say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people are doing their thing still, but obviously it's man's work rate, what man pushes, what, what, what efforts man put into themselves innit yeah Do but what know? I'm saying is Naja had bars all day big man all day you had bars all inches day. was bad with it yeah cocky with it yeah hard yeah. temp man I believe is the most entertaining rapper yeah. that South has ever seen yeah why did these names not blow up like they should have I don't know I don't think not being able to be business minded not do, making the right decisions you know and then while this is happening, life is catching up. Your baby mother, your baby mother, seeing you spend all this money on studio, and and then your youth's growing up. Like she's gonna start cussing, and if you love her, you're gonna have to respect what she's saying. If you ain't bussing, start looking after the family. And that's the decision that some of us made. Some of us lost our minds. Some of us ended up in prison, and it changed us. I don't know. I don't know. But the ones that's still doing it, and still got the love for it, you will see. You get me? Okay, you if you see. could go back to the first day what you all sat down and decided that you was going to be PDC, music, nothing else, just the music. Yeah. Is there anything you would change about your journey to today with regards to the way the music's panned out? Uh, 
um, I wish that I was on road when it first, first, first began. Like when it first blew up. When the first videos came out, I was doing a five. Do you understand? So, and I came out after all of that. So I had never met Temp Man. I had never heard Naja Spit. I'd never, all the younger ones below judging that, I've never heard them spitting. It's only inch I heard. Do you understand? So when I came up and I heard all these new ones, I said like, yeah. Is there any problems in the PDC camp that we should know about? Is everybody calm with each other? Yeah, everybody's calm. Everybody's blessed. Yeah? Yeah, everybody's blessed. So there's nothing we need to know as fans from the beginning? No, there's nothing going on. Everything's blessed. Everything's okay. blessed. So let us know now, what's the difference between PDC then and section boys and six seven now what's the difference yeah what's the reason why they're blowing up so much now but from then till now pdc ain't doing what they should be doing um i don't know maybe i don't know obviously that's what it is now you know when generations switch over they like different things do you understand and really it's the kids little white kids or most of the kids that's that's jumping onto this and obviously we're not kids in it so it's a generation thing that's what it is now same with scarface and young fuck or whoever it is he was arguing with do you understand scarface was saying you don't like that shit you don't like that shit but you can't say that because they created that shit themselves as youths that's what that's what they brought out do you understand that's what they had to give do you understand they're not going to give Scarface's thing because they'll be copying Scarface. Do you understand? They have to do their own thing. If it's something new and fresh, I'm all full change. Do you understand? So that's why I think because yeah, something new, something different and change. So that's why I think <coughs> those guys are busting now and we wasn't them because we was too much on the road thing. Way too much. They're on the road thing as well but I don't know. We weren't putting in much work, I don't know, I don't know, I couldn't even tell you. We was getting blocked by a lot of people as well. It it's now become fashionable to be greasy. When when we was being greasy, oh my God, they can't do that on record. Oh my God, lock them off, get the police down there. Take them off, take their videos off, do you understand? When we was being greasy, that's what it was. Now, it's fashionable to be greasy. That's why you see, what's the name? Rhea Ora dancing on stage with fucking section boys because it's okay to be greasy like it's it's cool now do you understand now people are rapping all kinds of things on records and it's on on sky tv sky sky music channels do you understand they're playing it all now they're not even censoring some of the stuff now do you understand section boys got a song with trap uh trapping ain't dead my connect still breathing when we said things like that cut off but obviously it's cool now you understand people are starting to realize they can make money off these youths like America did do you get me but well, obviously you get me like man for do the thing man for blow if man saying and he buses well done you get me because you got yourself out you understand but times change in it things change people like different things I just got to do the best that I can do you know what I mean make a good account of myself you know and that's about it Okay, so let's talk about Maddox. Who does he feel right now? Who does Maddox listen to this out here? Right now, I'm feeling, apart from PDC, I'm feeling Skepta, JME, um, I like gigs. Um, who else? There's too many to think about. Um, what's that guy's name? Who's the you? I don't know him. Who's the you? I don't know him. What's his name? North, this is Northview. IQ. Yeah, I'm feeling him. I'm feeling IQ. Like, I like his music. Kind of gas still. Um, who else? A uh, couple six, seven tracks. You get me? Um, who else? There's too many to mention probably. But artist wise, yeah. Yeah, probably the, the generation of the skeptics, your wretches. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your wileys, that generation more. You get me? Yes, yeah, so if you could work with one artist right now, 
any artist in Britain, who would that be? JME or Skepta. I like their vibe. <coughs> I like their vibe. I like to do a banger with them still. You get me? But obviously, you know, yeah. Okay. Well, obviously, let's switch up the subject now. Something has been going nuts on the road for the last couple of weeks. Yeah. Obviously, the roads have heard Jar Jar's opinion on the situation. Mm. The roads want to know what Maddox thinks. What does Maddox think about the devious situation that's going on right now? Boy, do you know what? I got love for my brother, you know? I got love for him, but um, I don't know. He had, he had demons fighting that nobody knew about. Obviously, we knew it was a certain type of way, but he had deeper demons dealing with that nobody knew about. And he was never around us to be able to see him and guide him straight kind of thing you get me you know I don't know he's he's gone guilty in it so he's accepted this thing like I'm not gonna diss him on that I'm gonna switch him on that switch on him on that you know but I don't know you you, you, lay, you lay your you lay your bed you make your bed you gotta lay in it you understand kind of thing you know it's a mad thing still but you put yourselves in these situations. You know what I mean? He puts himself in these situations. And this is the result of what you put yourself in. You get me? Like, sometimes when youth are growing up, they get caught up on their own hype and they forget to develop as a man and they're still youths, living second childhoods. Do you understand? So when it comes to dealing with a female, that's dealing with a female that's cheated on you, like you won't deal with it the right way because you haven't developed as a man, a human being, everything. You understand? You haven't developed, so you're not dealing with it the right way. But if he was around more people that thought that way, then maybe he would have been okay. Do you know what I mean? You know, because if I if I was with him when all of that was kicking off, it wouldn't have happened. You understand? I would I would have been the sense in his head like, what am I doing? Do you understand? But he was by himself, obviously, so. That's what happened. You know what I mean? You went mad. Like so much potential to end up like that. Like that's the story of DB. That's what's got that what that's what happened. Like after all those tracks, all that potential, all that possibility, all that power that he had, it's all come down to this. Do you understand? And everyone's gonna jump on the bandwagon and like this and that and rare rare rare. Beer comments and blah blah blah. They're gonna do that, innit? That's what they do. People like to drag people down. They don't like to push them up, like to drag them down. That's just human nature. Give us the next thing that we're gonna see from Maddox after this interview drops out. Well, so we know that you're definitely on this comeback. Well, on, um, the, I'm doing two videos. After all these years, featuring Naja Souls, Quinny and Nathan Heights. And I'm doing a track called Yes, featuring me, M's, VA, and um, Dan Diggers. Make dang diggers jump tonight, he ripped up still. Yeah, those are the next two videos coming. Is there anything else we need to know from Maddox? Boy, the, the mixtape's called Exit. It's on my Instagram, the link is on my Instagram and on my Facebook for the SoundCloud. The mixtape is on YouTube, just type in Exit, you'll see it. Um, it's going on that Piff, um, iTunes, and um, there's another one that I can't remember that is going on and this will all be this week because he's put it on me for me to be doing this so I'm going to do it this week so when you see this you know I'm not gassing you get me because people are going to play this back to me and say what you said where 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 so I'm going to have to do it now yeah uh, so right. let us know anyone you want to big up anyone you want to shout um, out there's too much people to big up so I want to big up Brixton all my true friends um, everybody that loves me I love you too it's another interview done and dusted Big up Maddox for all them years for starting something with PDC. Let's hope this comeback gets what it deserves. Big up all the young youths on the road. Like the man said, don't watch no one else. Be real to you. Trust when me. you're sitting in that jail cell or you're in that graveyard, it's too late. Trust me. Be a man and do what's right. And big up my brother, R.A. Suno, 
Yeah, the big up Hard Dot. Me and Hard Dot was bang up, you know. Real uh, nigga. Trust me. The hardest. Soon jump. Soon jump down. Soon One. jump down.